What is an SR1 medical report form and who is it for? An SR1 medical report form is the form people need to be able to apply for benefits under the special rules. The special rules mean people with a terminal illness who are nearing the end of life may be able to apply more easily for benefits, get them fast-tracked and get them paid at a higher rate. You may have heard of the DS1500 form. This form is no longer used and has been replaced by the SR1 medical report form. Which benefits can an SR1 medical report form be used for? The SR1 medical report form can only be used for some UK benefits and these are personal independence payment, attendance allowance, disability living allowance for children, universal credit, employment and support allowance. In Scotland, people need a different form called a Basris form to apply for adult disability payment and child disability payment under the special rules. BASRIS stands for Benefits Assessment for Special Rules in Scotland. You can find out more about the BASRIS form on Social Security Scotland's website. Where can healthcare professionals get the SR1 Medical Report form? SR1 Medical Report forms can be completed online or a paper copy can be ordered. An appropriate healthcare professional needs to order a paper copy of the SR1 Medical Report form to fill out or complete it online. Members of the public cannot access online SR1 medical report forms or order one. You can see how to access the online form and where to order a paper one on gov.uk. The full link is on the screen and in the video description. Who can fill in the SR1 medical report form? The SR1 medical report form can only be completed by an appropriate healthcare professional. An appropriate healthcare professional could include a GP, a hospital consultant, a hospice doctor or a specialist nurse. Patients and their friends or family cannot complete the SR1 medical report form. It's important for your patients to know they need to complete an application for the benefit as well as having you complete an SR1 medical report form. If they don't know already, tell them to state on the benefit application they're eligible for the special rules. How should healthcare professionals fill in the SR1 medical report form? The SR1 medical report form will ask for your patient's medical details, including the date they are thought to meet the special rules criteria. You can find the most up-to-date information on gov.uk. The full link is on screen and in the video description. Where should the SR1 medical report form be sent? After you filled in the SR1 medical report form, you could submit it online, email it, post it to the relevant government department. You can see the latest returns address on gov.uk the full link is on screen and in the video description.